Cam, buddy, I suck. <laughs> You're telling me. Feels like I'm always on my heels. Okay. Um, I need a new edge. Steel is way low. I need more steel, and I want to try a custom profile. Can you walk me through the options and what I can choose so I can get more on my toes and start playing better? Luckily, you came to the right place. Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports. We're not in the goalie corner today. We're not in Cam's wheelhouse. We are in the... Cam's wheelhouse. We're Cam's the, crease. Cam, we'll, we'll figure it out. We are in the Sharpening Center. The Sharpening Performance Center. Mm -hmm. There is so much literature out there about player profiles, custom profiles, custom radiuses. What about goalies? Goalies need custom profiles too. Figured it was time for me to get an updated edge, some fresh steel, and a custom radius from Cam. I've heard about other goalies using these custom radiuses. I wanted to get a better idea and bring it to you, bring it to you, our audience, so you can get a better idea that like, hey, like, just like players, you can get specialized radiuses, specialized profiles put on your skates. Based off your specific needs. And how you play yes. and what you want your skates to do for you, how you want them to feel underneath you. So Cam, just walk me through the basic goalie specialized radiuses. Is that even the proper terminology? Custom profiles specific to goaltending. Walk me through the different options and how they vary and how it's going to feel on my feet. Okay, what is, what is a radius? Radius is literally the amount of steel contacting your blade. So if I take a giant circle, for example, and we'll use a 27 foot as, uh, as an example, that's a 27 foot circle all the way around. So once again, when you're sitting thinking about yourself on a stance, that negates how much steel is contacting the ice, where your balance point is, how much you're over your toes when you're playing, so, Center of gravity. So perception, I think, for a long time was, oh, goalies have flat blades. They don't. They Incorrect. still have a, your average, your stock goalie profile is still a 27-foot radius. So a little bit That's of correct. a slight curvature, not as much as a player, but sort of a same curvature from front to back along that 27-foot radius. Correct. And then even furthermore, to get a little bit complicated, but that said, some uh, like brands have a different pitch to their actual holder themselves, which does come into play. But... Rewinding back here. Okay, hold on. Just a quick time out just to let people know. I mean, pitch how your holder sits on the ice is one thing. How your, your boot sits relative to your holder in terms of pitch and being forward or backwards. Correct. That's different from the radius on the bottom. Correct. And how you do your radius. I mean, it's going to feel different based on your pitch, but this is just the radius we're talking about. Correct. Just to clarify. So, 27 foot. You're, in theory, your stock radius on a skate. So, say you're resetting a profile. Say you've had your blades profiled before. Don't like it. Want to go back you to the way you had. Don't bring it to the hockey shop in Cecil and you let some local hack grind the front and the bottom and they end up looking like that because the guy's going on the front and on the back. I'd like to see a video of that kind of skate you're efforting. I may have done that when I sharpened skates in university for a part-time job. There, there you go. So, resetting it back, that 27 foot is a great place to start. Uh, what I actually am holding is the Pro Shop bar. Sorry, we keep referencing these things, but this is the actual bar that I'm putting on the Pro Shop machine, which the actual profile follows as it's grinding your steel, for example. So one thing to keep in mind as well as we go through any of these, yes, steel is being removed from your skate. So we are going to be taking, depending on your profile, a significant amount of blade off of, so which is potentially going to decrease the lifetime of your blade. Typically, a profile, we'd recommend about every three months to reset your profile sharpening is going to start to wear through it eventually and kind of throw it off a little bit. You'll feel when, you know, at the beginning of your profile, things are going to feel, you know, obviously great. As it starts to feel a little bit unbalanced and whatnot, that's kind of a signal, especially in your brain, depending on how often you get your skate sharpened, it's time for a reset. So that all said, 27 foot. Again, your basic profile, again, in theory, what's on your skates already. For you, Kevin, who initially brought up and said you're feeling a little bit too much on your heels, let's tip you onto your toes a little bit more. What I tend to recommend, my favorite one to recommend, and is a great introduction to getting your skates profile, is just a 24-28. Basically, again, I'm removing a bit of steel off the front of your toe, keeping the back portion of the skate fairly stock, so we're not doing too, too much crazy there. Bit of a midpoint tip. There we go. Let's see it. So that's Which one's the back? Which one's the front? Front. Okay, so 28. Back. 28, 28 foot radius on the back. So that's actually a little bit flatter than a stock 27 yes. on the back. 
front is a 24 foot radius so a little bit more curvature where does that differentiation start on this profile like where does the 24 start is it the front third or is it right in the middle so best i can kind of show it uh on camera here that front we'll call it third of it if we were going to cut it into thirds what that's going to give me over top of my toes a bit of a better balance point and figure as opposed to wanting to lean back and fall onto my heels a little bit more okay. it's going to naturally set me onto my toes it's going to keep me on that on the balls of my feet uh for lack of a better term and again as you're pushing side to side for your edges and whatnot that's where you're going to feel it the most also coming out of a post any sort of transition and it's easier for you to catch your toe and be able to push off so specifically for your game, that might help you a little bit, especially when you're feeling you were back on your heels and say your stance or also catching your edge coming off of that reverse VH in the post. OK, next. So something more aggressive. Um, Let's get crazy. The goalie Sam, not even the craziest that I've seen. But that said, uh, so so slow, slow down. Goalie Sam. Goalie Sam. I'm Cam. This is Sam. This is Sam. The goalie Sam, Sam custom profile This is what you ask for if you want the, the Sam. So this is actually a profile in stock on the Bauer Pro Skates. So the LS5G steel that you see, it will say agility profile uh, on the steel itself. So what that is. So again, Bauer's agility profile is your SAM profile. Is the goalie SAM. Pro Sharp. Goalie SAM. Well, Pro Sharp is a Bauer product. There we go. Yes. So what it's going to give you a more aggressive toe pitch, especially in the front. A mid flat point kind of in the skate. So that's creating a new balance point, especially for any shuffles or any resting position. So you're not always on your toe or wanting to tip back onto your heels. So it's creating a bit of a resting point before you make that transition back onto your toes. So any of that side push and you're kind of up, almost looking over a screen potentially or anything like that, or the plays a little bit further out, that allows you a little bit more stability as you're kind of sitting above. And then you can still click back onto your toes to get all that, again, agility as you're pushing. Okay, you said toes, midpoint. What are the numbers? Uh, again, 10, 50 foot, 27 in the back. First time you mentioned that, just so you know. Not again. Again. 10, so 50. You've, you've got a, a 10 is a pretty aggressive curvature on the front. Correct. Front third. Again, slicing this into thirds because this is the easiest way because it is a combo. Third. More aggressive toe, flat point on that 50. That 50 is a very flat profile. Correct. And then your stock 27 on the back. Correct. Correct. Okay. How, so again, is it roughly one third, one third, one third? To a point, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of the best way to describe it. Although the midpoint itself is a smaller uh, portion in comparison to uh, the front and the back. So the 50 is a very, the 50 isn't, is a smaller chunk. Yes, it's not it's as not the middle third. It's maybe the middle quarter and... We're getting into like super measurements math, here. Yeah, yeah that's what science. I wanted. You were supposed to explain it to me. I needed math. Math, I, it's not the strong suit here, this guys. Is, yeah, so, okay. At the end of the day, a lot more curve on the toe, a lot flatter in the middle section, and then your stock on the back. That's your goalie, Sam. Now, interestingly enough, we, I've talked to some goalies over the years that have stayed in old skates because they're toe pushers. They push with the toe of the blade. They like a longer skate. Devin Dubnik, for example. Once bought six pairs of the old Reebok 11K and was actually almost running out of them. What he liked was not just that lower profile and softer boot, but he liked that it had a longer blade because he was a toe pusher. So he pushed off the toe when he was going left to right, very much the toe of his blade. That profile, goalie Sam with the 10 foot radius on the front, probably wouldn't be for a Devin Dubnik because he wants more steel on the toe of his blade, not less. Now, that's a little bit dependent on exactly how you're pushing and the mechanics of your push itself, because that can actually be counterintuitive. But the more steel that might push you back further to the midpoint of the skate, when there's less steel, that's going to allow you to tip onto your toe a little bit more to be able to push off from that toe. From my knees, when I want more steel at the front, when I'm making a recovery, that's probably not the one for me. Depending on, again, your personal preference. So within that too, and this is something that we can pride ourselves on, we can still further dial in that profile after it's done. So we just had a, uh, a requisition for 24-28, but with a more aggressive toe pitch, for example. So we can further mod that profile by just adjusting the machine to create even a little bit more aggressive at just the toe of the skate itself, but still having that standard 24-28. So, and, that, and that makes sense. So he liked more steel and a longer steel on the toe. But I guess if you're 
putting a more aggressive curve on the toe, it's easier to grab that edge because you don't have to clear as far. Cut. It's a little more rounded. You can kind of skate into it a little bit. Okay. So again, this is personal preference. These are cuts, but we wanted to, everybody's going to be different. You might have to experiment a little bit um, to get your feel. But in general, you know how you feel on your skate blade. Do you feel like you're on your toes already? Do you feel like you're on your heels? These are the type of custom profiles that can help you change that. So we wanted to walk through it with Cam. At the end of the day, if you've got any questions about the specifics, make sure you call Cam, his team here at the hockey shop, Cecil and his crew here in the, in the Performance Sharpening Center. Um, where can they get a hold of you, Cam? 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790. Or you can check us out at www.thehockeyshop.com. So that's your basics. Those are, those are your primary two. You got your stock, you got your 2428, and you got your goalie stamp. Bauer has something called ellipsis that That's, they talk about. We're not there yet. No, not potentially. Like it's something potentially coming. There's even further profiles within that, depending on your specific needs. We've seen something like a 13 foot radius on goal skates as well. Um, it again, it's depending on what your specific needs are, what's being recommended to you, human coaches influence and things like that. Come in, describe what they've been describing to you, and we can filter that into some information to be able to put that into a profile. Or if you don't want to come in, make sure you give them a call. Because here's the thing, like a lot of guys these days are ordering multiple sets of blades so that they can just get them sharpened once, bring in like three or four sets. Kids are doing this, have three or four sets for a tournament, get them sharpened at once, not have to come back all the time to get them sharpened, which means you can also get three or four sets custom profiled, ready to go for you. If that's a decision you're looking to make, even if you're not local, you can have that done online. Just talk to them first, call Cam, set that up, and he'll take care of you. Cam, thanks for your time today, walking us through the various goalie custom profiles. Thanks, Cam.